acquisition and stages of acquisition so first language acquisition how a child acquire his or her first language it's a remarkable phenomenon so remarkable for the speed with which it takes place so a child learns uh, his or her language with a remarkable speed within 2 3 years a child is able to uh, speak his or her language so long before a child starts school he becomes an extremely sophisticated language user so uh, a child before going to school knows his or her language and he uses or she uses language like a sophisticated uh, user of a language so he or she operating a system for self expression and communication so a child can express himself and can communicate himself or herself uh, to others and can tell what he or she feels so the uh, the learning takes place very quickly that a, a very young child can uh, can does these processes very uh, sophisticatedly no other creature or computer comes close to matching the speed of uh, learning first language and the use of uh, first language is made at such a spe- speed that no creature or even computer can can uh, imitate or follow the learning and the speed uh, or the and the use of a language by a child generally occur without overt instruction and surprisingly no elder gives the child any instruction to do this and not to do that he or she learns it uh, on his or her own learning takes place regardless of great differences in their circumstances and we also see that people living in different strata of the society live dif- living in different countries living in different the different eras right despite the, these differences their learning is all takes place almost at the same time with little differences right and there is no difference uh, between their social classes that child at the upper class will learn better than the child uh, uh, at the lower class so they learn language uh, equally good the idea that there is an innate predisposition in the human infant to acquire language so this very thing that ch- uh, children learn language in the same uh, in the same way in different circumstances give uh, thought to the predisposition or innot uh, innate predisposition uh, of uh, uh, in human infants that uh, the language learning is innate it is hardwired in our brain social capacity for language with which each newborn child is endowed so they have a special uh, capacity for language learning uh, of the society or the culture in which they have they are born many different ways to characterize the developmental sequence so to talk about the different stages of learning we can say uh, different things we can uh, characterize it in different ways or different sequences on the production size one way to name the stages is focusing primarily on the unfolding of lexical and syntactic knowledge so we can talk about the stages of uh, acquisition of language uh, with reference to the uh, learning of lexical item and then to the syntactic item for example we can look at different stages the first stage we have named it babbling this is typically between 6 to 8 months this stage takes place typically between 6 to 8 months and the child is able to repeat cv patterns for example a consonant and a uh, vowel m b etc the second stage one word stage better one morpheme or one unit so here the child is able to Uh, use one morpheme 
or a sequence in terms of a unit or holophrastic stage this is known as it is between 9 to 18 months single open class words or word stems so open class like verb like noun adjective adverb are being used or word stems or the basic stems of the or the roots of the word so these are the words used by a child during this period two word stage it start from 18 to 24 months mini sentences with simple semantic relation so the child is now ready to make sentences simple sentences and for example he is able to start a noun and a verb so the process of the sentence start subject and predicate though the subject and predicate are very simple telegraphic stage or early multi-word stage better multi morphemes from 24 to 30 months telegraphic sentence structures of lexical rather than functional or grammatical morphemes so at this stage the structures are of lexical rather than functional so there are more words open class words are used than functional or grammatical morpheme for example preposition etc conjunction they are fewer in the cases and the more content words more open class word verb nouns adjectives are used by the child so these are some of the uh, stages so later multi-word stage after 30 uh, months so grammatical or functional structures emerge so when a child is 30 months old he or she is able to use grammatical as well as lexical functional uh, structures and uh, now he is ready to use the language as uh, anyone can use of older age so the inborn language capacity is not enough however this uh, uh, this is very important that we just said that there is an in, innate disposition or uh, the child is hardwired but this this uh, ability is not enough to use a language a child needs more than that the child must also be physically capable of sending and receiving sound signals in a language so the child should be able to listen to uh, and use receive send and receive he should be able he shouldn't have any problem with his tongue he shouldn't ha have any problem with his ear right so if the child has a problem with his ear he's uh, or she is deaf then the learning of language will not be easy for the child and if the child is away from listening to any language the child despite being hardwired won't uh, be able to use a language so hearing language sound is not enough even hearing is not enough for example if a child uh, is not in a situation in which he is or uh, he or she is motivated to speak the child will not be able to uh, will not be able to speak for example a child uh, born to two people who were uh, deaf and dumb uh, was wasn't able to speak though his or her parents uh, used uh, television and radio to make child listen the uh, voices and the human sound but uh, this did not help the child much uh, after some time he he was able to use symbol uh, or uh, or sign language instead of speech a crucial requirement appears to be the opportunity to interact with others via language so the most important thing that is uh, uh, that is crucial for learning a language by the child is that he or she must have the opportunity to interact he or she must be among people uh, who talk uh, with the child and uh, stimulate or motivate the child to learn you see that even uh, even right after the uh, birth of a child the parents uh, or the people around the child start talking to the child actually this is the 
this is very important and a child who is not exposed to this uh, facility won't be able to learn human language or won't be able to speak.